Hello everyone and welcome to Spitfire Debates. We got four topics, four minutes, so let's get right into it. So Bobby, you know the big topic in America right now is Yankees Alex Rodriguez admitting his use of steroids during his time in Texas. This man was supposed to be the savior, handbacked by Commissioner Bud Selig to be the home run king and cleanse all the wrongdoings of the steroid era. Bobby, where does baseball go from here? Well, can I just say that Anakin Skywalker is Alex Rodriguez, okay? This guy is turned to the Anakin. dark side, all right? He was supposed to be the savior, and you know what? Savior. So you're also going to tell me Darth Vader, Darth Vader is uh, Bud Selig right now? Because he could be. He could be, but I'll tell you right now, Bud Selig should have known that he was on this list. The fact that he told us that he was supposed to be the savior, and then this comes out, I give you one more, Whoa, conspiracy baby. theories here. No conspiracy. Whoa. Collusion, baby. Collusion. I give you collusion. Big words. Big words is right, because this is a huge setup. And what everyone was going through that 98 year, four years ago before that, this, the old strike thing, I think that this was just a big thing to get revenue in, and it worked, and it worked too well. It did work. But I don't want to lose those feelings of 98 watching Sosa Maguire. They're tainted. And I, I don't know with that. Hall of Fame for him? What do you think? Hall of Fame for A-Rod, if he stays clean, then yeah. I think he should be. What about you? Uh, I just, one thing I'm happy about is that he admitted it. He I admitted agree. it. You know what? Shows a good example of his kids, because you know what? That's what it's all about. Or at least it's what it used to be about. You got money to prove it, too. It used to be about kids. Yeah. Right, let's talk about something good in baseball. Please. Pitches and catches are a report today. Woo! Woo! Let's go. All right, the Red Sox here are going to be looking for another deep run in October with most of their core players back and a few new additions. So, Benjamin, what's the big story right here in spring trading? I got two ones for you. I got you the shortstop and I got you the catcher. Shortstop first, the man that's known as Julio Lugo. Hated in Boston. Hated in Boston. Jed Give Lowry. It, do you think? What, Jed Lowry? I'd rather have Jed Lowry playing right now. You, the way he's been playing. The way he's been playing, but... Man, Julio Lugo's making too much money. You can't let Stephon him Stephon Marbury, let's pay he's him not, up. He's not a clubhouse cancer, though. He's a cancer on the field. He's cancer on the field because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing out there, but that's besides Then I want to play Jed Lowry, who actually knows what he's doing out there. I give them the benefit of the doubt one more time. I hate him. I hate him, but you got to give well, him hey, more. At least you're loyal. I got Jacoby. Jacoby, Jacoby got, like in the uh, playoffs. Gave us a ago. taco. Gave us a taco, and it was good. But Wish now I'm getting that heartburn from that taco because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing out there. Well, I mean, he could have had like 80, 90 steals if could've. he actually had played well. Maybe. You know? But he choked on the stretch. We had Coco Crisp. Crisp. The series. Crisp. But yeah, Cocoa the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not Coco for Coco Puffs today. Uh, me neither, but I'll give you someone I'm Coco about right now. Pride of Providence, Rhode Island. Rocco Baldelli. Hey, Rocco! He might not play every day, but I'm telling you, he's an impact player. You watch out here. Moving on now, let's talk about some hockey. The Bruins are currently in first place in the Eastern Conference, and they're also battling injuries to key players. And Timmy Thomas is leading the way with his crazy yet effective goaltending. Bobby, how far is this team going? Stanley Cup, baby. Stanley Cup. You think they're going to sip out a cup of Lord Stanley? Really? Zidino's the new Bobby Orr. I, Zidino's, Zidino's not the new Bobby Orr, but I'll tell, you, man. I'll tell you who reminds me of someone. Milan Lucic, the second coming of Cam Neely. Guy can score, guy can knock people out. I like him representing Boston He's like right PJ now. Stock and Mark Savard. Put it together. Together. I like it. You know? I like it. But the whole thing is, there's just a lot of uncertainty with this group. I don't know how far they'll go. The, last night in San Jose, I mean, they played good for 40 minutes, and then 20 minutes after that, eh. Well, here's the thing, though. Here's this, I'm going to throw some stat now. See, oh, right? oh, I got the all fastballs. Right? After that, let's just put that San Jose uh, uh, game aside, all right? All right? Okay. All right, just I'll please. bear with you. I'll bear with you. All right, uh, they are 26-0-2 oh, right. in the third period with a lead. So they close games out. They all close right? games out, but... I want to Timmy see Thomas Timmy. and Manny Fernandez. It's like Julie the Cat, Goldberg. From you were throwing too. out all the movie I references. I all the movie references today, baby. Throwing out Goldberg and Timmy. I see it. I really do. But I don't know. It's just a lot of unproven. We'll see in the playoffs how they come around. Anyways. When PJ Axelson's kissing the cup. PJ Axelson. You'll thank me. All right. All right. Final topic for today. Television show Lost is back for its fifth season, and despite low numbers, the hardcore fans are going nuts for it. You hear it right there. They're going nuts, baby, for what's happening this season. Bobby, tell me your take on Lost. All right, here's the thing about Lost, right? It's able to reinvent itself to keep itself interesting. All right, it was first about a plane crash. Right. And right. then it was about two people on the island fighting each other. Right. All right. Then it was about people from outside the island coming in to fight those people. Right. And now it's about time travel. It's like Back to the Future. Back to the Future, except you know what? I don't care. Oh, come Lost on, Lost come on. garbage. Lost is garbage. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. I'll give you more blasphemy then. 24 is just as much garbage as Lost. Are you lost. kidding me? Kid you not. They both reinvent themselves too many times that I'm yawning and I'm bored. Listen to death. me. Terrorists are called terrorists because they're terrified of Jack Bauer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You want to watch yourself? Watch me some House. Watch some South Park. Watch Family Guy. Watch some good. I don't want to watch a British drama. guy be angry all the time, man. That's British not interesting guys to watch, me. It's, it's pretty funny though. It's not interesting to me. Sarcasm carries yeah. its way, and, baby. And the guy from Harold and Kumar is on there. What is he? You know. Yeah. What's wrong with Harold and Kumar? Nothing wrong with that. Why are you trying to dig that? No, because that's his his role. I'm not gonna uh, take him seriously. You in are role. killing me. I'm saying White Castle, baby. You didn't make me hungry for White Castle. You want to go for White Castle after yeah. this? All right. Why? What do you say about White Castle? Yes. All right. <laughs> Well, All right, so. while he's telling us that this is enough time for the show, be sure to go on the voice, Suffolk Voice at www.thesuffolkvoice.net. Till next time, folks, while he's waving bye. Have a good one. <laughs>